this fourth segment, we'll be looking at our first application of these uh, major scale shapes. Probably the most important thing is to be able to take any scale that you play and put it in different keys. So each of the scales that we just did in the key of C, we started on a C root. And that's why it's so important to start on the root and end on the root every time that you practice it. So that way you really keep in mind the rest of the scale in relation to that. So for the next application of this, we could then take these same uh, positions and fingerings and put them in another key. So for instance, uh, going up a fifth, let's try it in the key of G. This is the lowest G on the guitar neck, and so we would need to use what we looked at as our third position of the major scale and play it in this position now because the root note will be on the sixth string. So we could use this fingering. play our first position of G major. Then we could go to the next pattern that we looked at where the root is on the fourth string. So we've got another G right here on the fifth fret of the fourth string and we can play that same pattern. Then going to the next uh, G that we find on the neck, we've got this G on the tenth fret of the fifth string. So we'd play the fifth pattern that we looked at in the key of C and start right here. And then using that same root note, we'll play the first pattern that we looked at. So this is still starting on the 10th fret of the 5th string uh, with the 2nd finger. And then the last one would be starting up here on the 15th fret, and we would have 15th fret of the 6th string, so this would be the second pattern that we looked at. And so we would just start here. And that would get us through five positions of the G major. Well, you can then go through a cycle of more keys and practice putting those in the appropriate space. If we went to the key of D, for instance, now our first position would be with the D here on the fifth fret of the fifth string. So for this, we would use the fifth pattern that we looked at, which was this. And basically, once you can do that in all keys and do it quickly, uh, that can become a considerable part of your warm-up. Once you get through several keys, your right and left hands are very warmed up. So now we'll look at some picking patterns that we can use in our next segment. The intro starts on the low E string, and it goes like this. So then it's the B, A, and see I, I keep this uh, B string ringing on the G throughout the whole thing. 